My name is uh, Alberto Figueroa and I am the PI of the Computational Vascular Biomechanics Lab. The mission of our lab is to perform a patient-specific analysis of cardiovascular processes. Uh, there are many applications for this, but uh, if I had to name four, uh, it would be uh, disease research. Uh, we use these tools to investigate what's different biomechanically, uh, in particular diseases, for example, hypertension, aneurysm. Sabrina Lynch, uh, she is concerned with a problem of deep vein thrombosis. Uh, in deep vein thrombosis, you have blood clotting spontaneously, typically in your lower legs. And uh, this is a problem that, although typically is not life-threatening, uh, really affects uh, the quality of life of millions of people. So I study venous thrombosis, and what I'm trying to do is create different computational models um, and also image it in vivo so I can inform my computational models. So what I'm doing here is I'm using a system called photoacoustics. So it uses a combination of pulse light and ultrasound probes to image um, hemoglobin or essentially blood. So right now I'm just putting my finger up against the probe and we're using LEDs for the pulsing light and it's showing some of the different vessels in my finger. We use it for uh, improving the design and performance of cardiovascular medical devices such as stents and stent grafts. Uh, we also use these tools in combination with imaging to save uh, invasive diagnostic procedures. So you can combine imaging and modeling to perform diagnosis in a non-invasive way. My name is Jonas Schollenberger. I'm a third year PhD student in the biomedical engineering program and I work in the um, Figueroa lab and I'm also part-time working in the fMRI lab. So over here we see um, the head of the subject and these white structures are actually the arteries. So only the arteries with a, a lot of flowing blood will contribute to the, to the signal. And so here we see a, a projection from the top and here we see other, so a projection from the front and here from the side of the head. And so with these structures, we were able actually to segment these big structures to build our computational model. So in order to reproduce patient-specific blood flow, you need to have patient-specific data. The unique situation of my project is actually that I have both an advisor in the computational lab and in the MRI lab. So I'm, I'm able to acquire all this data myself and I'm able to build a computational model, uh, which is really important. A Critica IR is another example of collaboration between uh, computing, advanced computing, and uh, in this case, cardiology. So Critica's project, uh, she deals with trying to uh, provide a non-invasive assessment of coronary artery disease, which is the most common and most costly uh, cardiovascular condition in the world. So my name is Kritika Ayer and I'm in Dr. Alberto Figueroa's lab and my project focuses on coronary artery disease which manifests itself as a narrowing in the arteries that feed your heart and it's typically diagnosed using an invasive catheter-based pressure measurement known as fractional flow reserve or FFR and the issues with FFR are that it's highly invasive, causes increased risk to the patient and takes a lot of time. The purpose of my project is to come up with a computational method that determines that FFR value using machine learning and computational fluid dynamics. So you can see here, I have images that I obtained here in the cath lab, and then I use a machine learning algorithm to segment out the vessels, reconstruct the 3D geometry, and then run a flow simulation. So I think it's a great example where a combination of a core trade knowledge with uh, trying to make a difference in human health can marry together quite well and uh, you have obviously lots of things to explore.